the gradient of a line is only possible when the line is little bit tilt or something like having a slope when the line is horizontal it means there is no gradient there is no gradient means the gradient is zero hi everyone welcome back to my channel vertex monoj roy as today we are doing exercise 7.3 so before starting 7.3 i would like to say something about this exercise this which formulas are required in this uh, exercise in the next video i will be doing all complete solution of the questions of 7.3 today just an idea that how we can use the formula in exercise 7.3 so first of all gradient the slope of a line just you can see this line ab when you want to find the gradient of this line we should have the coordinates x1 y1 x2 y2 so there is only simple formula this gradient normally is denoted by m so m is equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 this is very simple formula normally we use to find the gradient or slope of a line we have one more uh, formula that's uh, i want to introduce this you, just, you can see this example this diagram in this line the red line when we have these two like i have drawn a right angle triangle basically this is not a right angle how many steps you vertical this rise upon run the gradient is also equals to rise upon run and gradient is also equals to 10 theta i will discuss uh, later when we start with the uh, trigonometry and the differentiation i will discuss about the tangent is also equals to gradient so gradient is also equals to rise upon run in this diagram you can see the rise is this part and run is also given the horizontal part okay vertical rise now what you have to do this rise is 3 and run is about you can see the run is about 8 so the gradient is equals to 3 upon 8 this is the way this we can find the gradient of a straight line by using the grids or rise upon run how we can decide the gradient is positive or negative this i would like to give one more example you can see these two lines red line and the blue line which line has like a negative gradient and which line has the positive gradient we know the rise upon run is a formula and we are having line one and line two okay first of all this line this gradient of this line one you can see the rise is three just count the steps and run is one two three four so the gradient is three upon four rise upon run there is no problem so whenever the line is like this you can see the red line is coming from bottom to when we move from left to right is moving up gradient is always positive remember from left to right when we move up is always positive gradient now the same thing when we move from positive to right down that is negative gradient i will use this line too okay how rise is uh 3 7 and run is 3 okay this gradient is 7 upon 3 very simple rise upon run but the line when we move from left to right and moving up is positive when we move from left to right moving down is negative so this line has a negative gradient so uh, this negative gradient means 7 upon 3 is a negative gradient so just remember we have to use this like when we use this frequently in at mass also in mass okay move to the next part gradient of parallel lines do you think this line ab and pq are parallel they are not parallel when these two arrows are not given in mathematics when we have arrows like with the line it means the lines are parallel when there is no parallel line like arrows it means we cannot uh, decide or we cannot think this lines are parallel okay the lines are parallel so it means gradient is m1 and gradient is m2 very simple when the lines are parallel the gradient is always equal so gradient of ab is equals to gradient of pq means m1 equals to m2 very simple just remember we have done gradient we have done this rise upon run method we have done the gradient of the parallel lines and the gradient of perpendicular lines we have to do in the next exercise okay normally i won't i want to just uh, give uh, just remember the like, key points for the gradient just remember like when the horizontal line is there like like this it means there is no gradient means the gradient is always zero just remember just we have to use it the gradient of a horizontal line is always zero same thing when we move like think about the vertical line the gradient is one upon zero means 
infinity just remember there is no gradient infinity and i will discuss like how you can form an equation of a line when the horizontal line or the vertical line by using these gradients okay moving to the next part we also have uh, collinear points in exercise 7.3 you can see a b and c three coordinates are given and all points are on a straight line so these points which are on the straight lines are called the collinear points and the collinear points does not mean this we have this b is the midpoint of ac no it can but normally all the points on a straight lines are called collinear points okay when we need to find the gradient like we can decide the coordinates are given gradient of ab is always equals to gradient of bc even is equals to gradient of the whole line ac so we have only done that's how we can use the formula in exercise 7.3 next video i will try to uh, like complete all the questions solutions of exercise 7.3 if you think this video is useful for you so please like my video subscribe my channel and kindly share with your friends and juniors thank you so much and have a nice day